All right. Hi, it's Sally. And first I want to remind you, if you like these videos, please like and share or comment below. I'm doing this to help people. So I have another question for the guides and let me grab my phone. And it's kind of a long question. It's very private, but I think I'm going to use it in a way about the emotions and how emotions are so hard and how emotions are wrapped into moments of trauma and physical stress. Excuse me while I get some water. Right, so um, this is a highly sensitive person who received a um, betrayal, physical trauma, and then another betrayal in life, and then um, an abandonment. So big, right? Really, really big. Those things are very hard to get over without compartmentalizing. And this is what people do when you have big traumas, big emotional things, you'll compartmentalize in order to survive. Or else you just go off the rails and, you know, you become a crack whore and then, no, I'm just kidding. So the thing is, is in order to survive, you're going to compartmentalize. But what's unfortunate is you got to go through and unpack it. And the conventional way of unpacking it is to, you know, experience it again and then process those emotions. Now, I'm going to tell you, it works sometimes. It makes things worse more often because what happens is you tell your story and you and you reactivate, you re-trigger all that and you lay down essentially new track, new neurons to the pain instead of excising the pain because, you know, you still got it pretty shellacked in there pretty tight. So, you, you know, you got to first you got to beat on it and then and then you tell your story and you and you reactivate it, but you haven't fully excised it. So that's what talk therapy does. Uh, another way to do is to do the, um, the forgiveness routine. And while it works incredibly well for some people, if you do not release the need for vindication, the need for revenge, it's still going to be there. There's still going to be enough seeds to regrow, enough uh, trapped energy to vibrate in there. Now, what happens if you don't deal with this? Well, interestingly enough, it goes on and it continues vibrating even though you don't mentally notice it. It's sort of like a background noise, you know, like an air conditioner or, you know, the sound of a car engine. You just, you get to ignore it. But the vibration is still out there putting out vibrational energy. And if you remember the rules of laws of attraction, what you vibrate will be attracted to you. Um... And so what essentially you're doing is you're, go, you're trying to put out a, a different signal, but there's still this low drone all the time underneath. And that's literally what happens. It would happen to me, it would happen to pretty much everybody. So the big thing is, you know, are you screwed? No, you're not screwed. There's other ways to do things. So let's take this particular for instance. Now, these are big, big deal things, big deal things, uh, physical attack emotional betrayal, and then um, abandonment. Those are, you know, basically the big three, right? So what does one do about those? Well, you can do a lot of talk therapy and you can desensitize. And that's what's going on is you no longer react to the drone, but the drone is still there. There's that. That's what desensitization does, is it, it makes you begin to ignore it, Okay. So then what I'd like you to do is think how helpful that is. Okay, so you have this big thing. It's still out there vibrating for you in the world, but you're just not going to notice it. It's like, you know, that commercial nose blind, you're getting vibration blind to it. And yeah, that works. You can function, but you're still going to vibrate at that level. So what do we do? Then there's the forgiveness. If you can fully forgive, what it does is it turns down the noise of the vibration. And that works. And if you do the two together, you can eradicate it completely. It takes years. Now, I'm going to say there's another way of doing it. And, and that's the way I do it. What I do is I go into the moments of those, you know, unbeknownst to your conscious mind. We take your unconscious mind. We take your um, higher self. And we go to the moments of the uh, perturbations, as my guides are saying. We go to the moments of the, uh, of the input, and we take every single one of those lower vibrational energies, thoughts, and feelings, and we tag them. And as we tag them, 
we can allow them to be free. Now, I don't know how to explain that, but essentially what you're doing is going into the moment and almost like you're picking flowers or unhooking little hooks. And then you ask your higher self if you'll just let it go. Now, I'm going to take you through just a little moment right now. So, um, right, I'd like you to close your eyes, breathe deeply, and just think of a peaceful place. Just think of your most beautiful lovely color. Think of your most happy, joyous moment. Think of a peaceful place. I know you may be physically in pain right now or emotionally in pain right now, but still there's a place in your mind where you can find peace. That's exactly how Nelson Mandela withstood all those years in that tiny, tiny cell. He took his mind to a place of peace as much as possible. So I'd like you to go to that place of peace right now. If you don't have one, let's create one. Close your eyes. Imagine a simple white room, just a simple white room. And imagine that you can paint or create by pointing exactly what you find beautiful. Let's start with a color. Wash that white room with the color. And now create comfortable places to sit Now create vistas and views. You can create companions. There you go. And create. And now notice your feeling when you're sitting there. There you go. Just notice that feeling when you're sitting in this quiet place in your mind. And now turn to whatever knowingness you have and say, I'd like you to... Just without me having to visit, you know, I won't have to be there for that meeting. I'd like you to go to the coordinates of space and in time where whatever it is, I don't even have to know what it is, is bothering me. And I'd like you to mark it. Just put an an electronic marker on there. And you may actually feel a twinge in your physical body when that happens. So I'd like you to mark it. And now I'm going to say these things to that moment. All contracts signed, either knowingly or unknowingly, with or without my knowledge, consent, or understanding, are hereby considered null, void, fulfilled, destroyed, and uncreated and deleted across all time, space, dimensions, and reality. And I hereby reject any agreements created therein. Activated. So you may play this over and over again. Say it to yourself or just let me say it. But that's what you say. And now the next thing you're going to do is say all emotions are converted to zero point energy. I release them now through nothingness because you can transmute it to another thing. And now the next thing you're going to do is ask your higher self how many copies. And if there's any copies, you're going to repeat the exercise for the copies. Remember, you don't have to know what the moment is. You just have to feel it, sense it, have a knowingness that it's there. For me, when I'm working with other people, it's just like a bump in the road, literally. I don't have to know the information. In fact, I made sure that I don't know because some of that stuff is really, really emotionally hard to notice. I sometimes feel the emotions and it can be hard. But what I do is just try to notice the disturbance in the force, so to speak. But that's what you can do. And you can do this over and over again. And remember, if you need help, I'm here. I can help you. A lot can happen in a very short time when I work at this quantum level. But that's what happens. So the next thing you're going to do is just breathe in as deeply as you can and just breathe out. And as you breathe out, I want you to feel like you're just sinking into the softest, most wonderful bed ever just so warm, so nice. Just sink in and release. You're releasing every bit of tension and soaking yourself into that. There you go. And so now that final thing is to tell yourself that you forgive yourself for holding on to that. And you forgive yourself for keeping that tight because you didn't know what to do with it. So now you're just getting rid of it. I truly hope this helps. And remember, please like and share these videos. 
And if you want to get in touch with me, it's sallyreed.com, S-A-L-L-Y-R-E-I-D.com. You can sign up for my newsletter. You can join my free Facebook group where I go in Facebook Lives and occasionally answer any question you want. That's where I do the personal questions. You can find out about my membership group where I do this twice a month. I do healing meditations twice a month and answer questions twice a month for you personally. That's where you can get your personal questions answered. So thanks so much for watching and I appreciate you. Have a wonderful day.